So let's object. This is like, I think the first step into it because I looked up a guide before. So I think we objected and we choose all the options that appeal to Kyoko the most. So we're gonna object. I can't allow myself to be manipulated like this. If it's really not what I think, she'd have no problems telling me here now. Rather allowing her to do so after she told me to stay away from Kyoko. Just take me out of the science club isn't exactly the wisest thing to do. Um, I can't just walk out on Kyoko like that. Weren't you the one who told me to stay away from her? That's because. Wait, I'm not going to skip the club for you. Fine, suit yourself. You'll find out eventually. It's been bothering you, hasn't it? Uh, oh, I didn't think I was that readable, but I was surprised to see her here after all. Naomi herself is Naomi herself is only keen on getting me to understand things from her point of view too, so things aren't one-sided. She wants me to understand her. She's going to have to be pretty open about it. I'll be here again tomorrow if you change your mind. Bye, have a great time. Okay. Hey. Oh, by choosing to stay with Kyoko, I've chosen not to get involved with the issues surrounding her and Naomi, at least for now. Um, alright. Okay, now the rest is just the same. Oh, but she's enjoying it this much. I can't say declining Naomi's offer to abandon Kyoko was truly a bad choice. Having another member, it's nice. Okay. Choosing to stay with, um, okay, I think he's just kind of reminiscing. <laughs> so we're not gonna bother with that. <laughs> Alright, also, skip the transition. Yeah, I can't just walk out, blah blah That's blah. Because... Okay, let's see. What are you thinking about? Come on, then. Wait, the thought of leaving Kyoko behind still pangs through me. Not giving an IOE a chance, certainly sticking with me. Asking him for advice can hurt. Okay, and I think this conversation is the same. So, I think we're gonna go to the science club and let's see. Plus, I guess it's nice to see just what happens like with the choices I didn't choose in the first like playthrough. So why not? All right. What's that expression for? Whoa. Are you excited for the club? Of course I am. I'm a member after all. <laughs> yeah, let's go. You made the right choice. That's what he tells himself. <laughs> Sometimes in life we have to make tough decisions. All right, that's the same. Having just passed the end of the school day marks the beginning of the serene atmosphere that now surrounds us. Alright. I'm kind of just skimming through it because I want this to be kind of quick. Like, maybe just one video where we get the endings. So I'm sorry if you guys want to see everything. What did we do today? We didn't get to do the experiment yesterday. I'm sorry if you do just want to see everything, but yeah, I'm just skipping through everything. Except for the voice lines. <laughs> um, unless it's important. What about, uh, titration? Oh! I don't know what that is. That's a great idea. Why are we calling my sword a notebook? <laughs> yeah, really? Mm -hmm. Of course it is. You should really have more faith in yourself. So I wonder what's gonna happen if like we don't meet with Naomi. Like, I just imagine her like actually running up to the door, opening it, and be like, "Hey, where's Jong?" <laughs> or something. <laughs> so anyway, let's see. We're going to have fun today. You seem pretty excited. That's because I am. A jitter, a stutter, whatever you want to call it, something isn't right about that. Um, she's sad. I'm oh. fine. C come on. Alright. Um, oh, there's something I want to talk to you about, apparently. <sighs> you are going to find out eventually. Perhaps in the end, their overly excited attitude was just a front, a distraction from this topic. Uh, she's said it before, she'd rather not go into it. However, ultimately, it's just something that needs to be addressed. Naomi. I... knew you wouldn't let up. I saw you with her... yesterday. Okay, so that outcome's still the same. It's... Naomi, isn't it? She turns her face... wait. Wait, there was nothing further I, now, right? It's... Naomi, isn't it? Okay, I don't think there was anything different about that. Oh, you saw me with her? How? <laughs> yeah. The lab looks over the school entrance. You two were there yesterday, together. So, they don't even burn me. Okay. I've been eating for noticing before. Here I stand together with a girl struck by a deep sense of woe. And what just happened, I chose not to find out. 
chose me here with her and I want her to be happy. We should just drop it. She isn't a nice person anymore. Um, uh, you were friends, right? Yeah, the only other scenario we've come up with is that Naomi's actually bullying her. Yeah. Yada yada. Y you could see that. She was a friend to me, but things have changed. I don't really want to get into it. Um, alright. Don't worry, it's nothing. You want to do that titration, right? <laughs> that, that's right. Oh, oops. <laughs> um, yeah. There, if there's anything you need me to do, let me know. You didn't create the club for nothing, right? <laughs> Alright. Just be here for me. That was fun. Alright, it's a shame I couldn't do anything, though. You can if you want. But it's your fault if you <laughs> break something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you got a point there. <laughs> Let's just stay here for the next 16 hours until school <laughs> starts tomorrow. Your sarcasm is on point. Actually, I'm going to save too, just because, uh, yeah, we're going to just go from here with everything else. That's a joke, right? I mean, obviously. But it'd be fun. Oh, spending time with her overnight. I'm not sure I'd actually feel about it. <laughs> I'm going to speak with Naomi. I'm going to have to go into their past. Oh. <laughs> so... Judging from this, I guess we still speak to her regardless. It's just that I think there's a different scene because... Yeah. Oh, sounds of chatter resonate from the spatial plane around me as a hazy figure drifts in and out of view. Where am I? Oh. Begins... The sounds begin to flee, yet one distinct voice makes itself out to me, a girl. Wake up! Uh! Wakey, wakey, it's time for school! Closing my eyes open, Kyoko stands before me with a stern look on her face. Just what are you doing falling asleep in class? I'm sorry. Rather than focusing on the obvious cliche, Cleoka looks onward with pity as I slump myself upright in my chair. What should I take away from this is that I really need to rethink my sleeping pattern. <laughs> anyway, what is it, Kyoko? Mmm, I need a fever. Kyoko and characters Cleo looks on with a childish pout as she stands above me waiting for my response. Um, alright, what is it? Wake up! <laughs> Wake up! Uh. Did you have a good sleep? So it was a dream. <laughs> Stares from my fellow classmates greet me from my slumber as Mr. Kimura stands before me with an agitated glare pointed right at me. Even Kyoko, looking back from the front of the room, can't help but stifle a laugh. If you're after a nap, I hear that the corridor is quite a good place to do it. <laughs> I don't want you disrupting my lesson. With his arm outstretched towards the door, I guess all I can do is take my cue and accept my feet. <laughs> okay, anyway. Oh wait, it's been about 15 minutes now, considering that Mr. Kimura explicitly told me to wait a minute before he'd come out to school me. I could just by leaving. I'm chosen to lean behind a protruded wall I just did a door. Or, yeah, to the class door. Nobody would notice either. Uh, let's see. Early lunch it is. <laughs> yeah. Hi, how are you? Hi! Out of the machine drops a small box of chocolate-coated uh, bis biscuit sticks, far from what I wanted. What do you think I am? Some sort of japan crazed warner? <laughs> I don't care what you are. Who in the world would put any thought over you? You're nothing but a loser. For her to be here, um, for one, she would. By the look on her face, I don't think she's particularly happy with my choice to favor Kyoko over her. Nevertheless, I've been wanting to speak to her anyway. From Kyoko's own words, the two of them once held a friendship together. I'm going to make her happy. I need to know what, um, uh, I need to know exactly what their past is. Naomi's the only way to do that. Anyway, how was the science club? I hope you enjoyed it after snubbing me yesterday. I didn't snub you, considering you were the one who wanted to drag me out. That's because it was important. Well, you could have told me. <laughs> didn't I make it clear enough? <laughs> you know, you're the type of guy to go out and put fence panels up when there's a typhoon, <laughs> huh? I don't get what you mean. <laughs> I mean you're an idiot. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Still, I couldn't just leave Kyoko like that. Do you know what it feels to what, or do you know what it feels like to be left alone? Yeah, I do. Peering towards Naomi's face, a sunken expression lays across it as tears set upon her crystal eyes. To see her this way, maybe she too feels the same way, or feels the same as Kyoko. 
A girl hurt by her past just what exactly so, I had somewhere. I guess I should probably tell you now, right? Probably is an understatement. Yeah, okay, better. Hang on. I'd like to hear it. Fine. It's not like I don't want you to know. Things weren't always like this between us. Um. Oh, wait. So, she does tell us, but it's like in a diff completely different scene. <laughs> That's something I didn't expect. <laughs> Sweet bun I was after. You can have this. I'll take these. It's a long story. Okay, let's see. I just can't bear to face her normally. I want to be myself again. Okay, um. What exactly happened between two? You know, I'm the captain of the athletics team, right? It's not just track. Of course, I know everyone in the school practically does. Um, yeah. I think that looks kind of the same. We lost a member not too long ago. An important one. To me. Yeah, actually, this is, this is like exactly the same, but it's a different setting. Okay, I got it. Go, go. Oh, okay, I took I just can't bear to face her normally. I want to be myself again. Her repetition, her words, her emotions flowing out from within. Can't really speak the emotions in the situation. I'm standing across truly recalling something that she's kept to herself all this time. Her voice, her expression, her reading. Um, I'm guessing she left then. She's in the science club now, right? Rather than being a proper club, it's really just to do what she's doing while after school. More we're just watching play around, watching play around her instruments. Um. Kyoko's always like science. She didn't leave. She was kicked out. But you're the captain. Are you saying you did it? Of course not. Just because I'm the captain doesn't mean I control the club. It's managed by the sports board. They did it. Do I know what the sports board is? That's enough. Yeah, yeah. So I wish you could We cheated. Killed her win. There was a race at another school. So we messed up their kids. We just wanted to help her win. We really did. But they found out. We told them it wasn't her fault. They didn't believe us. She was banned from competition and kicked from her club after that. I mean, we're just a little time taken I mean, kids are quits. I wonder when, but they clearly chose the wrong way to support her. So I know we still want to be more nice to off. Um, yeah, I think that was exactly the same. You think I don't know that? I was her friend! I'm not gonna read my mind. <laughs> friend. Friend. Now, it's nothing! You think I don't hate myself enough? I tried to apologize, but an apology isn't enough for something like that! Um, alright. Oh, if that's the case, why are you so hostile to Kyoko? Why did you want me away from her? I was it like, was upsetting! Seeing you with her? Seeing that she made a new friend? I'm sorry! Kyoko wouldn't talk to me after the race. She wouldn't listen to my apologies, my pleas, but she became friends with you. It hurt me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, can't blame her. Please! I want you to help me. I better just stick to this button. <laughs> <laughs> My god, John. <laughs> You're a savage. He's like, please help me. I told you everything, please help. Yeah, no thanks. I'm taking this button, by the way. <laughs> That's like what you do. Not these. <laughs> these are mine. I want you to help with Kyoko. <laughs> My mistake. Okay, so I thought he was just intentionally being savage. <laughs> okay. Either way, it's still funny. So what do you want me to do, exactly? I want you to change her opinion of me. Um, yeah, how am I supposed to do that? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Y you'll help me? <laughs> I... I knew you would. You can't resist spending time with a girl like me. Wait, what? Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, just eat your bread and vamoose. People might see us together. Vamoose. <laughs> what about Kyoko? How am I supposed to tell you how things go with her? I don't know. You're in the science club. Use your head. <laughs> that doesn't necessarily make me clever. I'm not Kyoko. So just give me your number and I can text you. Just by looking at her face, I don't think she approves of the idea. Of course you'd want my number. <laughs> Fine, have it. You'll need it anyway. Give me your phone. I'm not going to do anything with it. Still talking. Uh, still taking her words with a grain of salt. I steadily passed her my phone. Yeah. I've never had a sweaty. Never had a sweaty girl give me her number for it. Yeah, boy. Very sweaty. <laughs> Your kid is enough to suggest that she's just finished training. Surprising considering it's in the middle of the day. Ew. Has any girl given you their number before? <laughs> I bet you haven't even had a girlfriend, either. <laughs> Naomi's words sting my soul, a sign that things are starting to return to normal between us. Um, anyway. What about you? Have you ever had a boyfriend? <laughs> yeah, that means I can't throw my own back. Um. Uh, uh, so, so, what if I haven't? Yeah, that, that Why would somewhere. I waste my time with someone like you when I could be training? Yeah, it's similar, even like when we were going to the cafe. <laughs> Nothing, just... Shut up! Just tell me how things go with Kyoko! Hm. Oh my god! <laughs> During away with a huff, Naomi walks off towards the canteen's doors just as the lunch bell hits. She sure timed that perfectly. Alright. 
never finished. Go with tossing your pencil aside finishes jotting down the results from our experiments. There's no anomalous data either. We did really good. Go us? Yeah, go us. <laughs> okay, so you need me help? It's okay. You don't need to do anything. Really. Just being a member makes me happy. Call Kyoko or Naomi. Oh, so you can do um either one. Okay, I think since we're trying to stick to Kyoko's good ending. Yeah, we'll just call Kyoko. I if we call Naomi, like what exactly are we gonna say to her? <laughs> That's my question. Okay. Hello. Well, hi, Bonjour. Hey Kyoko. Have you finally decided what your favorite element is? No. It's uh Clay, but <laughs> really, that's not important. What? Maybe calling signs unimportant was a great idea in hindsight. Clay isn't an element. It's a mineral. You uninformed individual. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Kyoko wouldn't go as far as calling you, do you yet, it seems. Well, you'll have to give me a few lessons next time. From what I recall, all they do in quests is teach us kids stuff. But they do. Yeah, whatever. Alright. Anyway. What are you doing tomorrow? Me? Uh, this isn't a group call, you know. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, I'm not up to anything. That's great. It really is. I mean, that's great. <laughs> what is that? Are you planning on roping me into some sort of experiment you can't do at school? No, no it's not that. But that's a nice idea. <laughs> they don't let me bring in the stuff with the red labels on. Yeah, it'd be bad if they had your personal safety at heart. It's fine. I'm an adult. At least in England. <laughs> this is in England, let alone Wales. From what I heard, there's a fancy school in Tokyo that teaches their curriculum. Anyway, <laughs> you're free to go to the city tomorrow, right? I'm supposed to meet someone. I'm free, but that's uh, that sounds like something you do on your own. Who you're supposed to be meeting? to her online a bit and she wants to join the club okay. we can go shopping for supplies for the club too i should see from her words as they graciously resonate out from the device way snugly against my ear all right now um, a friend i'm guessing she's one of the classes and you haven't met her in person yet <laughs> about that it's not important all right then keep your secret what's important is that <laughs> you're coming right if you really did have another friend at, at school, I think I would know more about it. Or I would know about it. More so Naomi too. Um, alright. Alright, I'll go. Where do you want to meet? There's a cafe next to the station. You can't miss it. It's really popular. Anyway, I have to go. Just be sure to be there. Alright, she must have to wait for dinner. That's usually the reason anyway. Be sure to attend the club on Monday too, right? That's right. Characteristic elevated voice uh, seeps out from behind my ear. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll see you tomorrow then, Kiyoko. I'll see you tomorrow too. Oh, as much into as she has, still leaves me out with one of the most important parts. So she said, Oh yeah, I forgot. Meet me at ten. Wait, alongside that I'll finally alongside you know finding out more about the past basically. Cause that's what it said before. I'll finally find out who exactly the so called friend Kyoko's supposedly going to meet to be meeting is. Honestly, I feel kind of guilty that the fact that surprised me at first, but considering I only had him glad off that possibility of Kyoko knowing anyone else, it's still a little jarring. Wait, despite it being a Saturday, outside stands a girl adorned in our uniform. Her slick golden hair flowing on gracefully as a set of braids only rocked by a passing breeze. Hello again, Kiri. Um, alright, yeah. Oh, well, your present for now, I can see you on with blah blah blah, okay. I thought the friend was gonna be Kiri or something. That's that was my prediction. <laughs> So, perhaps it wouldn't be such a bad idea to talk to this foreign student whose eyes are now eerily pointed in my direction. Relying upon Kyoko's undeserved infamy, it wouldn't be bad. Uh, it wouldn't be a bad shot for a starting point. Wait for Kyoko or approach her. Why don't we approach her? Why not? <laughs> he did say, whoop. She's staring right at us. Or, in our direction? I can't remember. At the end of the day, all it comes down to is the fact that Kyoko's in here. Her empathetic passion, blah blah blah. Yeah. Hey, hey! Uh, hey. Excuse me. Did you happen to see a girl around here with brown hair and glasses? She's kinda short. <laughs> I say that because despite Kyoko seeming to be at least average in stature, 
Compared to me and even the girl before me, she's definitely short. <laughs> even for a westerner, the frail girl before my eyes is pretty well built. More than just her height, to say the least. What? Despite at least appearing to be a foreigner, she responds in surprisingly perfect Japanese. D do you mean... K Kyoko? Responding timidly with a question of her own, it's no surprise that she knows who she is. Granted, it would be even less surprising to hear more about all the other Kyoko's, uh, Kyoko or Kyoko's, and rolled alongside us, you know. Kyoko, but with different spellings. <laughs> but the fact is, there is only one I'm supposed to be meeting here at this time. You know her? Great. Have you seen her around? She's supposed to be meeting me here. Oh, wait, she is the mystery friend then. Wait a minute. <laughs> You know you're not supposed to say that when covering someone's eyes, right? I know. But I changed things up a little. Science is all about variables, after all. I don't think that science applies much to our scenario, but I'm willing to go along with it. Well, you sure surprised me. That was the point. <laughs> the pretty girl looks honest but acute, but still somehow strange laugh, given the situation. I still don't know who she really is, but I can only guess that this is the girl Kyoko's been speaking with online. So, this is him. She's been talking about me? <laughs> Why wouldn't I? You're a member of the club. Maybe because I'm the only member too, barring yourself, of course. <laughs> and what about... Oh, right. I forgot. This is Kerry. Who? Karina Irwood added to the encyclopedia. Let's see what the game says about... Let's see what this game says about her. Karidwin Carrie Irwood. Oh, so she also has the same voice actor as Naomi. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> so Amber Burial. I'm sorry if I butchered your name, but she's got <laughs> she's got that talent of having different voices. Carrie is what you'd call the stereotypical library girl, although you probably shouldn't say that to her face. As a keen fan of books, music, and everything that doesn't involve extensive communication, she keeps a lot of things to herself. Beside her expressions of emotion, that is. Roped into the antics of the science club, Carrie cares a lot for her friends. Unfortunately for you, she's already taken. And yes, going to the library does count as a date. <laughs> Carrie stars in her own visual novel, Sounds of Her Love. So she's with the dude called Pro Paper Plays, I got you. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Uh, same here. I haven't seen you around though. What class are you in? Someone Kyoko has only spoken to online, it's hard to think that the two have never spoken at school. Even if she isn't one to go out of her way to speak to people, once she does, she sure is energetic about it. I'm not. <laughs> no need to worry about that. <laughs> I asked something so trivial. Isn't science about asking questions? <laughs> Kyoko, you should. Nonsense. Wait, I guess you're right. <laughs> anyway, Kerry, just ignore him for now. You're j joining the club, right? Kyoko's voice continues to fill with a distinct sense of nervousness alongside her companion, who continues to peer towards me with embarrassment stretching from one cheek to another in the form of a rosy red blush. Considering this is apparently Kyoko's first meeting in person with Kerry, she continues to act with unwavering non nonchalance, at least when she isn't trying to dodge my inquisitions. I'm... She doesn't go to our school, does she? Uh, about that. Th that's right. Oh, that's right. She's here to join the science club. But I I'm not. Here, as in the middle of the city? Not, you know, at the club room where we would be if she was really joining the club. <laughs> Why are you going as far as recruiting members who don't even enroll with us? But, but she said she'd join. Prior expression, one tainted with a pang of anxiety despite stemming from her usual upbeat self, has now shifted into what is either a genuine or mock pout. At this point, I can't really tell. Nobody has really shown much interest in the club. Even I couldn't say I was too interested at first. Yet, here I am. You didn't want to join. Kyoko's eyes shift between Carrie's and mine, filled with an increasing look of woe. It's clear that she's a, at least a little upset, no matter how much she exaggerates it. Yoko, what with her intellect, clearly has a reasonable sense of judgment, somewhere within her at least. She, as with anyone, would know that getting someone outside of school to join the club would be impossible. 
Standing here, I can't help but gaze upon the conversation before me. Both girls, embraced by the wind midday sun, trying their hardest to resolve what really was a non-issue from the beginning. Th that's not what I... Yeah, Carrie, right? What exactly did you tell her? Bearing away from Kyoko's insensitive pouting. Um, okay. She's looking at me, basically, or whatever. I said I'd love to if I went to your school. But you don't. She made you wear that, right? <laughs> hey! You're saying that as if it's a bad thing. Frankly, I think it looks good on her. <laughs> what about the lab coat? That's a great idea. We'll have to get her one. <laughs> I'll be a fun playing along with Kyoko's jokes is far from fair on the um, perturbed girl standing between us. Please, I... I can't continue to idle on as a sheepish girl before me looks ever distraught as Kyoko's uh, usual self. That and, well, we'd be here all day otherwise. Kyoko, it's not really a nice thing to force someone to wear something they didn't want to. But... Her back continues to deepen further. I can't help but feel that. This is her idea of fun outside the lab. Experimenting, experimenting on her friends instead. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. That's what you wanted. Right? Good enough. I'm proud of you. As half-assed as her apology was, dwelling on a situation will always serve to tire me out. I mean, two girls before me, they're her blowing... Yeah, yeah. It's very busy. Wait, a coffee with two girls to show for it. Uh, let's go inside, right? Lifting her arms up, emotion filled with excitement, Kyoko leads us on as we make our way inside. Two new friends and a stranger. Pausing my feet inches away from the door, a light tug strikes against my sleep. All to be... Accompanied by a faint blush present on the girl's cheeks. Thank you. Kyoko sure knows how to pick her friends. Hitting the panes beside me, the looming afternoon sun sweeps in through the glass, meeting a trio of us converged around this small coffee table. Time, of course, has passed on. Kyoko and Carrie sitting together, chatting. I can't help but feel um, that somehow a similar scenario would have occurred in Naomi, with Naomi and Carrie's shoes. If she were here, I wonder what she'd think. Naomi... A girl seemingly driven on conviction, yet still sensitive inside. Brushing her bangs aside, Kyoko parts the silly strands of her hair, lifting up her cup to take another negligible sip of her latte. Um, <laughs> alright. It's getting late. Besides, I'm glad she's not totally alone. Ah, we're supposed to go shopping today. Surprise or even shocked coats Kyoko's face as she looks onward towards me, breaking, uh, breaking me away from her trance. I need to go too. I'm supposed to be having dinner with someone. I wonder who. <laughs> really? You're not coming with us. But we're like the triple bond in nitrogen. I can't really say I agree. Carrie doesn't seem like a bad person, but I can't say I had much of a place in their conversations. I'm sorry, Kyoko. I have to go. Well, promise you'll come again. Kyoko. <laughs> it was. Nice meeting you like this. I'll see you again soon, right? That's right. I'll see you again too. Uh, leaving Kyoko with a faint smile, the berated girl turns her strikingly beautiful face towards me with a little bit uneasy embarrassment. <laughs> Seeing her this close, I can or I can agree with Kyoko that I'd like to see her again too. B bye. See ya. Given her weariness towards me, I can't really tell if she feels the same. Bye, have a great time. Now along with Kyoko, the two of us continue taking brief sips of our drinks, embraced by the silence. For the first time, I'm actually alone in the city with a girl. Now, if any, would be a good time to make conversation. I want you to change her opinion of me. So she'll talk again. Alright, mm, Jongin. He's like thinking, alright. Should I do it here and now? <laughs> okay. That in reality is harder than it seems. Nevertheless, I can't help but try to make them happy with each other. Fidgeting with her hands, Kyoko's eyes shyly peek up towards me, anticipating something to break the ice. Do you normally go to town with friends like this? Despite having only met Kiri in person for the first time, the question itself invites deeper discussion into Kyoko's social life. Um, yeah. Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? I... It's alright, never mind. Wishing her to answer is really just as hard as asking the question itself. I. you 
used to go with Naomi, but things didn't really work out. Now I'm able to sanitize, all I can do is throw away from the topic to keep things easy for her. Even if she holds those feelings of regret inside of her, pushing her towards her past in spite of the future isn't something I'd like to put pressure on. In time, piece by piece, I'll learn more about the world which once engrossed their lives. I see. Uh, anyway, I'm feeling pretty tired. We can leave for shopping another day. I don't want to bore you. I really had fun today. I wouldn't want to ruin it. It's not like she would. It's regarding my lack of scientific knowledge. Spending time together is just as fun for me as it is for her. You wouldn't ruin it. After all, this is the science club, right? Even more so, you're a friend. Th thank you. Uh, seemingly calmer than her usual quirky self, Kyoko settles with an all-too-cute smile in return. It really suits her. Anyway, we're going to miss the train. Come on, let's go. Remarkably, Kyoko takes hold of my hand, our skin meeting together with a warmth. With nothing but a small tug, Kyoko looks upon me with a rosy blush, before softly dropping her hand to the side in realization. We wouldn't want to have to wait, right? Right. Alright, here we go. Our little cafe visit seems like a fair distant dream. Yada yada. I'm very friend Gary, I could say she was pretty cute too. Yeah, but Gary was actually super pretty reckless. <laughs> you really have a lot going on, don't you? What do you mean? You're... A lot more talented than me. You're smart, and... <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> you get drunk off coffee or something. Eh? <laughs> Why would I? Coffee doesn't contain ethanol. <laughs> but... It does contain hydroxyl groups. I guess. <laughs> that was one hell of a day. I think once we actually have progress, though, we can definitely call Naomi. It feels kind of weird just calling her, like, right now, right? And then just not having any progress made. So, skip. It's clear enough that uh, Kyoko still harbors feelings towards Naomi. Okay, I guess we're just going on another adventure. It's fine. I um. Be nice to speak with her for I'll a little while. see longer. you tomorrow, too. Okay. A lot of this is just going by fast now because, yeah, as you can see with the skip button, most of the dialogue is the same, but at least there's still different parts. 